What's up, Drivetrain? We are out here at Richmond BMX. It's the state race. This is the second one in the series for 2024. We're excited. We got some classes today. Hopefully. Haven't Hopefully. checked yet. I know I do because I've talked to the people that are here. That's exciting. We're hanging out down here with a little bit of the vegetation, the niceties that they use for um, not making, not just making the place look beautiful, Please. but also because it helps with water and irrigation and keeping the water off the track. Now, recently there's been a lot of talk about sealing the turns. You might have seen many people wrecking at national races on some big name tracks recently because the tracks have asphalt and then they get sealed. They look beautiful, but when they get wet, they get slippery. So if you'd like to avoid slippery turns, come out and race the Richmond BMX Flat Pedal Pro-Am that's coming up. We'll have a local race as well that same day, but it's in just a few weeks and you can ride the Brickyard. Turns one and three are hand laid pavers. They're consistent and they get wet, they still grip, they ride awesome. Turn two is uh, paved, but unsealed. Come meet some pros. You yeah. want to meet them? Come out. Last year it was really amazing. You got to meet all these pros. They were really nice. They signed stuff for you. You got to take pictures and everything. But it was just a really fun race. It's a really cool experience. So come out, come join us, and meet some people you wanted to meet. It's also, it's men's class and a women's class. Top eight, uh, top eight payout. So if you make it to the main in either class, it's even payout for men and women. And the minimum is $5,000 for men, 5,000 for women. So there's a bunch of money on the table. I do think Barry Nobles is coming out this year. Yep. Our own um, Ruben Garcia, who's, who's co-sponsored by Vega, will be out. He's actually out here getting some gate practice in. But anyway, that's enough talking and yapping. We're gonna catch some, uh, some racing and then we'll show you some of the sights from around after the races. Let's get it. Trackside before Moto One. I took a little spill in the practice lap and um, butt scrubbed on my cruiser, went down. So I'm also looking to play smart. I'm looking to play smart here. And uh, cruiser, we've got a qualifier. Top one goes and we're racing Monosmith. They'll probably make that. So I don't know what I'm gonna try first lap on cruiser. 20 inches, two plus two. So I may just look to roll kind of Moto One on both bikes and then come up and actually race uh, Moto Two, make it to the mains and then do that. So anyway, let's go up and have some fun on some bikes. Let's do it. Chris 
Christmas jumped out to a huge lead. Eddie Allen give us a little air show behind him. And here comes everybody's favorite, Lee Rowe. In third, running on down into turn three, Chris Monismith. Dave Allen with that number one state plate holding down the number two. Okay, just went up and checked motos as they were posting them, and I am stoked. I have the best class I have had this whole state series. Which isn't saying much because we've only had one race, but I'm 16 in her. Total points. Racing a 16 in her, 15 in her, and then me as a 15 novice. So it's gonna be chill. It's gonna be a fun race. I think I've raced one of them before, but I don't know the other one, so I get to meet new people. But yeah, it should be really enjoyable.
Caleb for the second, Marcus for the third. I probably saw my tiny foot shoes. What size are they, like, what, fours? Four. Oh, right. 41, 45. Good game! And finally, Chris Monasmith out front. In second right with him is Marcus DeHaven. Coming on around the corner. That looks like the Poffin Burger guy. He's in third, battling with Mr. Dave Allen. Dave Allen sneaking up on the inside, running down the river section. Poffin Burger trying to do the hard way, go around the outside. Does the high low. Here, really battling for that third, Monasmith. <laughs> Little tight boys. Good job, guys. All right. I never rode a Hey guys, so we're gonna go talk to some people and the question for today is what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Strawberry. Basic chocolate. Strawberry. Basic chocolate. Chocolate. Strawberry with cake chucks. <laughs> You're getting honestly it's black cherry. No, no, it's black cherry? Okay. Chocolate. You got a chocolate? Like uh, chocolate mint chip. Chocolate mint chip, okay. Alright, all right. All right. Chocolate. Definitely Reese's or Reese's or something like that. Peanut butter chocolate. Yeah. Vanilla. Vanilla. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Wow. You eat ice cream? Yeah man. Yeah, mint chocolate chip is what's that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, okay. We're definitely gonna chocolate chip. Oh, oh vanilla. Caramel. Caramel. Okay, we haven't gotten that one. Vanilla. Vanilla, no straight vanilla, for, uh, straight. not vanilla bean, just vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. It is coffee chip. That is, that is, that is like top notch. You, you have to eat that with your pinky. Yeah. Uh, mint chip. Mint chip. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a somebody with. If we got chocolate, vanilla, and peanut butter in it, we're great. Mint chocolate chip. Okay, we got a lot of them. Yeah. Huh? Chocolate chip cookie dough. Awesome. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. We just got that. Favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate. Oh, yeah. We're racking up the mint chocolate chip. Chocolate. Vanilla. Vanilla. That's fine. We're good with that. Ice cream. Ice cream. I'm a cookies and cream kind of guy. Or sorry, uh, cookie, cookie dough. dough. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. You going cookie dough? Okay. okay. Cookies and cream is good though. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? Yeah. Um, vanilla. Vanilla? Mm -hmm. Saw. We've got a lot of vanillas today. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. We got that. That's good. Second one? Ice cream flavor. Um, uh, I what it's called. Mango. 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 That's a new one. Nice. Ooh, butter pecan. Butter pecan. Okay. Uh, salted caramel caramel. There we go. I, I can dig some salt. Chocolate caramel. peanut butter. For Chocolate sure. caramel. There you go. 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 You can't go wrong with that. Caramel. Caramel? caramel. Caramel? Salted caramel, all right. Nice. Favorite ice cream flavor? Mm, strawberry. Nice, that's nice. the second strawberry yeah. we've had, all right. Mint chocolate chip. Okay, you're in okay. on the mint chocolate chip? Chocolate. Um, I guess I'll go chocolate. Chocolate, all right. Donovan? Mint chocolate chip. Nice. Oh, man, that was a good one. Uh, strawberry. Excuse me. Vanilla. Vanilla, we got flavor. Vanilla, nice. So today's race was a success. It only dripped for a couple minutes just to, you know, wet the track and, and then it was beautiful weather, beautiful, I was gonna say people, but that sounds weird. We become beautiful people. Um, we, had, we had a fun race today. Um, so I ended up getting third, held down the caboose. You know, you can't have a race without someone getting last and they needed me, okay? If I wasn't getting last, who was gonna get last? Who's gonna take that spot? So, got third place points, how'd you do? Yeah, came in uh, second on cruiser behind Monosmith, which is always fun, good laps. And then came in third and 20 inch, had that Nick Kimmon gate coming from lane eight. Oh, yeah. And Poffenbarger and I were uh, rubbing elbows almost in the first turn. Both decided we didn't want to go down. And so we eased up a little bit, but it was a good day of racing. Yeah, the team did great. Watch out for the bugs. Team did great. Um, and anyway, it was uh, overall a good local track day. Yep. State qualifier numero dos in the books. And that's it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you all next in that next one. video. Peace. You're supposed to do it too. Peace. Peace.